So it opens up in a minute. This is definitely my path. Ah, okay. Oh, this is better. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you, that is not the strongest of starts. Lepanilla Bike Park is only open at the weekends. Um, yeah, my fault. I went online and the, the website's in, in Spanish, so I translated it using using the, you know, when you right click and translate the website because they didn't have an English option. And it set, just says, from what I can remember, open from May till October, 10 in the morning till six o'clock at night. And um, so I've turned up there just then and they've said, oh no, we only open at the weekend. So not a strong start. Sorry about that guys, bit bummed out, but up to Val Nord, I've not got enough time to leave and get there before it gets dark tonight now to set up my tent. So I can't give myself an extra day's riding at Val Nord, which is also a bit of a pisser, but is what it is. Riaza, no idea how you say it. Riaza, such a lovely village, and like all of this is a play park. The whole thing, it's wicked, massive, and clean. No spray paint. Now we know where the deer is, the supermarket. This day's looking up already. Rio Riaza. Oh, it's amazing what a mountain bike ride can do to your mood and your outlook on the day. Even if it's not particularly good, it's just nice to get out a lung full of fresh air in the sunshine. There are flies though. And they're pricks. I was expecting to do this bit on a fucking chairlift today. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. Very hot. Absolutely beautiful countryside here. Very different to where I am, but yeah, very nice. Very green and still, considering the heat is very green. Quite mountainous, but not quite as extreme as up in the Sierra Nevada. Very nice. These are like the fences out of fucking Jurassic Park. I'm not saying it's a bad thing because I don't like cycling through cows and bulls with big horns. Well, having lived here for a very long time, I've just realized that what I've always thought were private signs are actually uh, Coto, what is it, Coto Provado de Casa, which apparently is a private hunting land, which doesn't mean that you can't, you know, travel through on the footpaths. It just means that you can't come in here and hunt, which is interesting, but apparently it also means that I stand a much higher chance of bumping into livestock and bulls, which is fucking bullshit. I hate cycling past cattle. There's definitely something to be said about 
you know, exploring. But this is the kind of riding that I want to do, you know, bike packing. I like to know where I'm going when I'm riding trails. I like to not know where I'm going, but I like to know that none of it's private. Because I punch in on Strava, you know, that just tells you that there's a track there. It doesn't tell you if it's private or what. So you do run the risk of getting a bit, you know, being left a bit disappointed. But hey ho. Ah, gonna have to have a play with my gears later on. Whew. What a beautiful place though. What a beautiful day. Oh no, don't start getting overgrown. Right where the single track is supposed to start. Right, I've wandered off track, but it's straight up here, so how hard can it be? Oh, fuck me. Nearly at the top. Whew. Oh, I'm looking forward to this view. Hopefully looking right down over Riata. Riaza or Riaza or whatever the pronunciation is, is there. It's beautiful. Up there, I think, somewhere is where I should have been riding today. Up in the uh, La Panilla ski resort there. Yes, yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely spot. And my path is here somewhere, apparently. Um, so, yeah, back down to Riaza again. Maybe back up again, but I don't think so. The flies are getting right on my tits. Oh God, flies, fuck off. Let's hope there is a decent bit of downhill that I can pick up a bit of speed on. I think it's about 20 kilometers per hour in it to shake off most flies. Do you reckon this is the footpath? Oh God. Oh no. I think this might be the footpath. Oh, here we go. That's all right. Well, my shins are not liking this. Oh no. Ow, ow. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine how this feels on my shins. Let's hope it opens up in a minute. Because this is definitely my path. Ah, okay. Oh, this is better.
Oh, my back brake. Fucking prick. Need to get that in. First thing up in Val Nord. Oh, knee went. <laughs> Keep dabbing the old back brake to keep it pumped up. Thought that issue was resolved. I love riding in pine forests. I love the smell. Reminds me of reminds me of Afan Forest actually. I just love the smell. But love it even more if it was going downhill on single track, that is for sure. I'm so shit at spotting lines. There's a high line back there. Ooh, I can smell livestock. Oh, I know where I am. Right, so that was a nice little leg stretch. What I'm going to do is, instead of going up again, I'm going to take my bike into the bike shop that I saw in town, if it's open, and try and get them to sort out the back brakes. <laughs> 